sunshine appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in labor and agony to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven. There was a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns, and on his head were seven diadems. His tail swept away a third of the stars in the heaven and hurled them to the earth. And the dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she gave birth, he might devour her child. But she gave birth to a son, a male who is going to shepherd all nations with an iron scepter. And her child was caught up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared by God to be fed there for 1,260 days. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels also fought, but he could not prevail, and there was no place for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was thrown out, the ancient serpent, the one who is called the devil, the Hasatan, the one who deceives the whole world. He was thrown to earth and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, The salvation and the power of the, king, the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah gave, have now come because the accuser of our brothers has been thrown out, the one who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they have not did not love their lives in the face of death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the earth and the sea, and for the devil has come down to you with great fury, because he knows he has a short time. That's right. When the dragon saw that he had been thrown to earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male. The woman was given two wings of a great, of great eagle so that she could fly from the serpent's presence to her place in the wilderness where she was fed for a times, times, and a half time. From his mouth the serpent spewed up water like a river after the woman to sweep her away in a torrent. But the earth helped the woman. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the river that the dragon had spewed from his mouth. So the dragon was furious with the woman and left to wage war against the rest of her offspring. Those who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus, he, he stood on the sand of the sea. To him that overcome, we, we 